In this video, I'd like to discuss digital copies. Digital copies refers to anything printed on what would typically be, be considered a copier, such as small format prints, flyers, business cards, mailers, etc. To begin with, if we're in an estimate within control looking at the digital copies product, the first thing it wants to know is the finished sets. If we were doing pamphlets, it would be the finished number of pamphlets. In this case, we'll say we need 10 prints. Are they single-sided prints, double-sided prints, or single-sided to double-sided, which means the originals were single-sided and you're converting them to double-sided, or double-sided to single-sided, where the originals were double-sided and you're converting them to single-sided. The quantity being ordered, or the quantity of originals, so if I have 15, it basically means I have 10 books of 15 pages for a total of 150 copies. The finished size is the finished size of the product once completed. If this is going to be a standard sheet size, it will default to that sheet size once it's chosen. In this case, we'll say the machine that's going to be printed, the print mode, black and white color or photographic. Do these pages need to be collated? What is the paper type? And then what is the paper? In this case, you'll notice once I've selected the paper, it is defaulting my finished size to that paper, telling me I now need 300 impressions to do 150 double-sided pages. Now, if these were half sheets or quarter sheets, so I was saying that these are 4 by 5s, for example, you'll now notice it only takes 76 impressions to do 150 4 by 4s. It's also looking at this. If you look at the Info tab, it breaks down how many pages. In this case, it'll take 38 sheets to do 150 4 by 4 prints. Now that we've got our what's being ordered down, Next thing we come to is the source. How did you receive this? Is it a copy or a digital file? If they're copies, how did you receive them? And where are they now located? If they're digital files, it's going to want to know what the file type is, how many of files are there, and how they were received, and the location they currently are. Since we're doing 4 by 4s these will need to be cut out. So we'll use a guillotine cutter in this situation. And we'll say we're just going to trim these. If they also needed to be laminated, we could then choose how we we're laminating and then what is the laminate that was going to be used. Looking up at the top, under bindery, now that we have everything else in, how are we folding these, or are we folding them? If we're folding them, what is the machine that's folding them, or are they manual? And the type of fold. Are they being bound? In this case, we will bind them. I can choose the type of binder, the type of binding. What edge is it? going to be bound on. In this case, it'll be the left vertical edge and the binding type itself. Now, it is assuming that there's 15 pages per, per bind, considering I have 15 originals. You can overwrite that if for some reason that's changed. If they need to be creased or perforated, what is the machine doing those? What type and the quantity of perfs vertically or horizontally, or creases vertically or horizontally. Any additional notes that you want just to the bindery department can also be entered into the bindery notes category. Also, 
on the tab sheet. We have the layout data. This is for any spacing. Maybe I need between the 4 inch and 4 inch, I need a half inch of margin. I can then go in and say I want a half inch and on what sides I want that half inch to be. And that will leave a half inch margin all the way around each sign. Now that we've chosen everything, how are we going to box it up? And how many boxes are we going to need? The print description is what prints on an estimate, invoice, and work order for, for this particular product. And on the add-ons tab, you have the notes on work order, which only prints on work orders. This concludes the video on digital copies. If you have any additional questions, please refer to our other videos or call, call implementation within Sirius. Thank you.